Hello everyone, this is Persephone. This is a TikTok filter and I decided to make some videos on TikTok for a change because I honestly have barely any time. And a fan asked me about night flirt bidding and to explain it on YouTube and this is what we are going to do today together with some night flirt advice. So first of all, what is bidding on simple terms? It's that when you first start and you don't have good reviews and people don't know you, you are going to be at the bottom of the pages and people will not know who you are to find you, especially after the being new kind of expires. People say that Nightflare doesn't have a new tag, but I disagree and kind of does. So what you do is you spend some money to be featured in the front page. Imagine it like advertising that when you go to a supermarket and there is a new product and the new company pays for the product to be placed on a favorable position inside the grocery store so that people see it when they walk in, it's the same thing. The problem with that is that the newer you are and the less money you have made, the more expensive the bidding is going to be. So it could be two, three, even ten dollars to just be featured. And then every time someone clicks on your listing, you pay an amount of money that depends on how much you agree to bid. Like, for example, if you make a bid for one ten, one dollar and ten cents, every time someone clicks on it, one dollar and ten cents is being removed from your account. Even if the person ends up not calling you, not chatting with you, not buying any of your goodie bags, which means that if you're not careful or if you're very competitive, soon you can end up at a loss. The good thing about that is that if you persist, and if you want to be on the first front pages, in my opinion, I have very good results with that. I don't have to be featured in the front page all the time, never did. Then soon, the more money you make, the more the bidding price is going to drop. So sometimes in order to be on the front page, you may be 20 cents or nothing. The problem with that is that when you start, you may have to add money to your account and especially in the beginning, you can feel like gambling and you can become obsessed, at least I did. Now you're going to say, oh my God, so they are making money from us doing that, but they already take a cut. I know. I don't really like that either. I would prefer it if for a month the new people were featured in the front pages for, let's say, a fixed amount or nothing, but it's not my company. So the next question is, can you avoid bidding and just make money by yourself? The answer is yes. And there is a trick that I'm going to share with you today. Once you work very hard and you can establish yourself with regulars, even if you don't bid, these people will still find you and they will still call you because they have developed a relationship with you that goes beyond, oh, I just want any woman to get off. They will want to talk to you, especially if you are into more niche categories, like if you are more into cuckolding or if you are into more feminization or something that they really vibe with you. There were times that I have a listing that has a lot of five star good reviews and I almost never bid anything. And even if it is on rank 200, people still find it and call. So yes, if you put up the work, you may not have to bid or bid very little, like I said, 20 cents and you're going to do fine. But if you have brand new listings, like when I start the listing that is completely new and no one knows, I still bid to get it to be featured. You can forget all of that if you already have a following somewhere else. If you have people, let's say, on a different website and you want to introduce Nightflare to them, you can send them the link of your listing directly without having any bids and say, call here. Or if you do phone with cam, even better, because you can send them the phone with cam listing and they are going to do a phone with cam session with you, which is the exact same thing as a private show on any other side. If you're a cam girl, you know what I mean. Pretty much you see the other person on camera and you agree upon what to do and you do it. So there are ways to go around the bidding system or minimize the involvement in your business. But if you watch me, because my videos aim towards people clueless, strapped for cars, lazy, who want the fastest way possible, I would say the first month you aim to constantly be on the four pages of your category, whatever you want to work as, let's say femdom because that's what I did, you aim for that and after that the bidding is going to start to drop and you're going to do just fine. And also if you don't want to start new listings and your old listings still work, go with that. You don't have to bid and create new listings because I see the advice that they say, oh, create many listings. Yeah, if I have nine listings and I have to bid one dollar in all nine of them, I'm going to be clicked to death.
life. It's so easy to spend fifty dollars in that stuff. Like I said, it's like gambling. Have you seen the scratchers that you scratch to win something, and before you know it, you spend twenty dollars and you didn't win anything? It's the same thing. So I would say start with three listings in categories that you feel more comfortable with, or you feel more confident, or they vibe more with your personality. Keep them for thirty days and see what happens. And if one of them is dead and doesn't work, no matter how much you bid, you toss it and you start another one. I'm telling you, I know it sounds scary, but it won't be after a while. Just give it some time. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work and you feel that it's really not going anywhere, you delete all of these listings and you jump to a whole new category. I consider myself a dominatrix and I do so much better on women home alone over there compared to the fandom stuff. The women home alone, people click on it several times per hour, while fandom could be dead for days. And I never thought of that, like, I'm definitely not the housewife type and I'm definitely not the home alone type, but the people there like it. So don't be afraid to experiment. I hope that helped. If you have more questions, you can always share them with me on YouTube and I'm going to make a video about them or just compile them together. Okay, thank you for watching.